1940 p.m. We got book reviews. So first off, I got three of them. So they'll take an hour maybe to upload, maybe less. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So from 2018, we have TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, the follow-up to the first one. And this came from Solvay Public Library in New York. So thank you very much, Solvay Public Library, for letting me borrow this through Interlibrary Loan OCLC. So, oh my. Gotta move my cursor. There we go. Much better. So, let's get into this bad boy. I did like this. It was all right. Let's see how it goes. Finished reading it, and it was nice, but not as good as the original. Yeah, I hate that. Because <laughs> usually the point of any sequel is to outdo its predecessor in some way. This kind of did, but not really. <laughs> The backstory of the turtles being reincarnated from feudal Japan was interesting, yeah. As was learning that Donatello and Egon both died and had different POVs on how they felt about it. I know about Donatello's death. I know he died, um... Well, he was beaten to death by Bebop and Rocksteady, so I guess that's what that was, but... <clears throat> Either way, I'll have to track down their stories and read them. Pretty cool how they got to meet their mother again. I didn't know they had one. <laughs> the main villain being Darius Dunn felt kind of weak. Even the name just, yeah, weak as fuck. This was cool. And I have a bunch of pages folded down that I did enjoy. Um, the cross-dimension jumping was a good highlight for the story, especially with the varying color styles and art palettes. The collectors could have been more intimidating. Definitely. This was a good panel here. I mean, look at that face. Like, yeah, what the fuck did you eat? Yeah, I like these. The ghost bus turtles. Fucking cool, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Variant covers were cool as hell. This fucking page don't want to work. <laughs> yeah, the variant covers were cool and slightly better than the story. Yeah, that says a lot. I hate that fact, but it's like... I don't know. And another good highlight is definitely Egon and Donatello and how they meshed while fixing the problem. Uh, the Turtles' backstory does add more to the mythos, which is cool. Maybe I'm just being too critical. I don't know. I couldn't really tell you, but yeah, it is what it is. But if you don't like IDW, you don't like Turtles, you hate crossovers, you hate... Uh, Ghostbusters 2? Well, this is not the crossover comic you were looking for. The proton weapons were pretty neat. Definitely. I like that little aspect. That was a nice addition to that. The Ghostbusters Turtles van is cool. That was a nice deal. Wouldn't mind having that as a toy. I saw the toy line for Turtles at, in Ghostbusters uniforms. Absolutely shitty looking. Yeah. It could have been better. Way fucking better. Just a little better. Story as is, solid 7-2 out of 10. Yeah. I just wish it could have been better. The art does make up for the story. I will give it that. It's a different setup, it's a different layout, and I'll enjoy that a lot. But honestly, they didn't really need to make this story. I mean, it's one of those that, you know, it can be underrated, it can be good, but it's also kind of bad, in a way. But it is what it is. So, that's how I feel about this. Will I buy it? No. Absolutely not, I don't need it. I was excited to read it though. It was it was a good reading experience. Passed almost passed out a few times reading it because fuck. Ugh. But yeah, like these covers for this shit was good. So fucking good. Will they do a third one? You know they will. They did it for Batman TMNT. They're probably working on TMNT Ghostbusters 3 right now. Or it's on hold because of the strike. So, <sighs> that's what I've got.
So I'll be back with some more. Stay tuned.